This video is sponsored by Atlas Coffee Club. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back, okay? Today's video, we have a, something a little different than usual. Usually I do like 50 crochet ideas, but for this one, we have a mixture of crochet and knit ideas for, you guessed it, Gilmore Girls. Now, personally, I love this show. I've seen it front to back over and over, time and time again, and I've actually just started my rewatch. I always start it in um, October, like mid-October, because then you get to the Christmas episodes right around Christmas, so it's super fun. But anyways, I love this show. You guys love this show. You guys have been asking and asking for a crochet ideas video. I started to compile a crochet idea video and realized a majority of the stuff you see in Gilmore Girls is not crochet. It's knit, okay? It's not just crochet. So we have a combination video. We've got crochet ideas. We've got knit ideas. So whether you're a crocheter, a knitter, or both, there is going to be something for you in this video, okay? So I have separated this video into four categories. We have sweaters and cardigans, hats and scarves, blankets, and then miscellaneous. So everything that doesn't fit into those three categories. Everything I say will be listed in the description box below in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial um, so that you can make whatever I'm showing you. But for this one, it's a little different because some of these I have searched and searched and searched and searched and searched and I cannot find a like specific pattern or video tutorial. So for those ones, I'm going to find you something to aid you in the process of making it. For example, if there is a knitted striped scarf, I can't find the specific striped scarf with those colors but I can find you a knitted striped scarf tutorial with different colors. I'm going to link that one. So if you're like, hey, this isn't linked to the one you showed, that's why. Because a lot of these are actually screen grabs from the actual show and they don't have, it's not like an Etsy is selling these patterns. Okay, so this one's just a little different than my usual ones. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump right into the first category, which is sweaters and cardigans. Now, for the first one in this category, we have the infamous dark gray sweater that she's wearing when she's like, you're sitting under my tree. Girl, does the tree have your name on it? No, it's not your tree. But we have that sweater. And then we have the burnt orange sweater where she's in her cutesy high schooler headband era, okay? And then we have the light blue knit sweater from sitting at a Luke's diner talking smack with Lorelai, okay? Um, and then we have Lane's sweater, which this one's a knit too. It's gorgeous, it's detailed, super cute, super niche Halloween costume if you're looking for a Halloween costume idea. And then we have the infamous, the one everybody knows, okay? The cable knit sweater, cable knit sweater that she wears in the pilot episode, okay? There are tutorials for this everywhere, so there's definitely going to be a video tutorial for you for this one, okay? And you can also make this red and black diamond type knit vest that Lorelai's wearing. Speaking of Lorelai, okay, coffee, 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 okay, so speaking of Lorelai loving coffee, guess who also loves coffee? I do, which brings us to this week's sponsor, Atlas Coffee Club. Atlas Coffee Club is a coffee subscription service that curates the top 1% of the world's best coffee. They source from over 50 countries, so you'll get a little bit of a taste of a different country every month, and their small batch process allows you to taste the nuances between every country. Each month, subscribers receive single origin coffee from a new country, a postcard from that country, and an info card detailing the country's history, the tasting notes of the beans, and context about what makes this coffee so unique. So, I I received my coffee in the mail and that is actually what I'm drinking here today with you. It is so good, okay? I was so excited to try something new because you guys know me. I'm very stuck in my ways. I have used the same coffee my whole life since I've started drinking coffee. So this was a fun new way to try something new, okay? From a new country, super fun, super exciting. And what's really cool is they sent me my coffee, which is actually in this really cute packaging. Oh! 
I almost dropped it. Okay. I'm using one that I haven't opened. I have uh, three bags here, but this is so cute. Okay. Look at this packaging. I love the material. It's adorable. Love the artwork on it. And then it also comes with, like I said, it comes with a little card kind of detailing the nuances of your coffee. What makes it, you know, special. And the one that I'm drinking today, it says the tasting notes are lime, oat milk, and dark chocolate. The roast level is medium roast, and there's a little, like, fun fact about Guatemala, okay? So, I actually got mine in decaf, so they do have a decaf option if you're a decaf coffee drinker like I am. And then the back of the card has a bunch of coffee history for the area, the country that you got your coffee from. So that's super fun. And you even get this really cute postcard with your coffee. So I love that. It's one more thing I can put on my wall. I'm super excited for this subscription service, you guys. And you know, coffee is part of my daily routine, okay? I start my mornings with it. So it's nice to have a fun little way of tasting new coffees from different countries and also learning a little bit about some different countries. So it's a really fun brand to be working with. And lucky for you, they are actually giving you guys a amazing deal okay you can get 50% off and free shipping on your first month of coffee with atlas coffee club okay use my code amazing page or go to www.atlascoffeeclub.com slash amazing page now that we've got our coffee break out of the way let's go ahead and get back into our sweaters and cardigans you can make you can also make this really cute purple cardigan that Rory wears for like an entire episode, which I just realized while I was watching it last night. I was like, oh, that looks knit. Okay, so you can definitely make this really cute purple one. You can also make the infamous, I'm pretty sure this is crochet if you can tell by the granny stitches at the top, but Paris wears, when they go to college, Paris wears this really cute crocheted sweater for an entire episode. And that's definitely crochet. So you can do that if you're a crochet girly, okay? And then here's a better picture of that purple cardigan I showed you earlier. And that is all for that category. So let's go ahead and move into the hats and scarves category. So for the hats and scarves category, okay, we have the, we have a bunch, a bunch. And a lot of these pictures, I had to combine this category because a lot of these pictures, they're wearing the scarf and the hat at the same time. So you can do this cute striped scarf and Roy's got a purple scarf hat moment going on you can do the one where that episode where Lorelai wears like her ugliest hat and scarf so there's the ugly hat and ugly scarf okay you can also make the very well-known golfing hat that Emily puts on Rory before she goes golfing with Richard okay you can make that because that's a I'm pretty sure it's crocheted or knit but you can definitely make it and then here's another cute mother-daughter duo of scarves on a Friday night dinner, okay? You can also make this really cute kind of bear-like beanie that Lane wears, or you can make the striped scarf that is seen multiple times throughout the seasons of Lorelai, okay? You can also make a plain black beanie and a purple scarf combo like Lorelai's wearing here, or even this really detailed lacy crochet scarf that Rory's wearing in her college seasons, okay? You can make this really thick light blue sweater that Lorelai wears during the winter season, and you can even make this chevron style colorful scarf or purple beanie that Rory's wearing in this one. Here's a better picture of the golf hat I mentioned earlier, a little more of a close-up to kind of show you that this is definitely a handmade item, okay? Um, you can make the scarves from this screen cap of this scene of the blue scarf, super cute. You can also make this Gilmore Girls hat inspired beanie with a little palm on the top that this creator made. You can even make this a uh, scarf that Roy's wearing in the newsroom at college, okay? And you can wear, which actually my favorite out of all these scarves is this one that Lorelai's wearing. It's the thin tube scarf, the striped one that she wears a lot, but I love a thin tube scarf, okay? I love it because you don't get too hot, but it's like a cute little accessory to your outfit. So you can make that one or you can even make this cable knit scarf that Roy's wearing or this striped scarf that Roy wears and I'm pretty sure it's season one or season two. And then I think this is spring break Rory or or, oh no I think this is actually the reboot but um or like the you know the one where they're all old <laughs> um is a bucket hat she wears while lounging okay and then we've got a pilot episode beanie that's on Lorelai okay
face super cute and then here's another showing of that skinny tube striped scarf that i mentioned earlier but this time luke is also wearing a scarf so if you're doing a couple's costume that would be really cute to knit these scarves for you and your partner okay and that's all we have for that category so let's move into the blankets category Okay, we have a couple for this category. We have the granny stitch blanket that makes an appearance on the back of their couch many times and in the scene where Chris is coming back into town or Christopher, I guess, is coming back into town and she's folding the blankets to put on the couch for him. It's also there. I saw it last night. That's how I know that. <laughs> I'm not like these these facts are not just in my brain. I just watched that episode last night. So, uh, you can also make a Gilmore Girls fan style blanket with a bunch of different, you know, tapestry squares. Okay, super cute. You can make the Lorelei blanket that's also on the back of her couch for, I think, about one or two seasons. Um, this lacy granny square material, that's definitely crocheted. You can also make the granny square blanket that's seen in Lane's mom's shop a lot. Okay, and you can also make the granny square blanket that is in the scene where lane is laid up in bed pregnant okay having her baby shower that blanket is gorgeous and ever since i saw that episode it has gone on my like blanket that i want to make eventually in my life okay so there's that one super cute super detailed super fun then that's all we have for the blanket category so let's move into our final category which is miscellaneous so for the miscellaneous category we have three Okay, the last three of this video, we've got the bandana that Suki wears in the kitchen. We have the bandana that Lorelai wears on the um, garage sale, rummage sale, free, you know, flea market sale that she's hosting in her house. She has this bandana on and we have this grid of Luke's diner coffee cup logo okay for tapestry crocheters if you want to make a tote bag or anything like that there you go and that is all we have for our gilmore girls inspired crochet and knit project ideas okay i hope you guys were able to find one or two in this video that you are able to do okay or you want to do um as always everything i say will be listed will be listed in the description box below link to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i'm showing you and like i said before i will be scouring the internet for these but not all of these are gonna have a pattern or a tutorial so if i can't find one it will be blank and if you're able to find it let me know in the comments and i will add it to the description box okay also every picture i showed you is on a cohesive pinterest board also link down below so that you can have access to all the photos that I showed you. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful fall season and a great rest of your October and into November you have now some Gilmore Girls inspired crochet slash knit ideas. Okay, let me know if you guys uh, want some exclusive knit crochet knitting ideas okay because i'm learning to knit right now and i'm starting to get the hang of it and i'm starting to get inspired to do some 50 knitting ideas okay so if that's something you're interested in please let me know in the comments and if there are enough of you i will start adding some knitting videos into these crochet videos okay so other than that if there's a video i haven't done before and you want to see me do it please leave it down below and i'll add it to the list and thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video bye